Now let us discuss here about basic laws of Boolean algebra. Basic laws can also be called as basic rules. So basic rules of Boolean algebra. These rules are mainly useful in order to simplify the Boolean expressions. In order to reduce the Boolean expressions. Uh, now let us discuss here about uh, all the bully basic laws one by one. Uh, here uh, mainly we use just two operators plus operator dot operator. So plus stands for addition operation whereas dot stands for product operation. So product means multiplication operation. So let us assume that we have three variables such as x, y and z. So x, y and z are three variables. Three variables. Uh, we, here plus means addition operation. So addition is nothing but R operation. Dot means product operation. So product means and operation. So we know about uh, R operation and and operation. So we can write R as A plus B. A addition B or A or B. So if the symbols are 0, 0 then the output is 0. Otherwise the output is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 means the output is 1. So this is about the addition operation. So a, a, R operation, R or addition operation. So A plus B means 0, uh, 0 plus 0 means 0, 0, 1 or 1, 0 or 1, 1 will return 1 as the output. Next AND operation, AND means product operation. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 means output is 0, whereas if the inputs are 1, 1, then the output is 1. So this is about R operation and uh, AND operation. Okay, and now let us see about the basic rules one by one. So the first rule is identity loss, basic identities. So first let us discuss about uh, uh, identity loss, identity loss. Identity loss, identity loss. Uh, so x, y, z are the input variables. Uh, so let us take x here, x plus zero, x plus one. Uh, next x dot zero, x dot one. So x plus zero means x. So by adding zero to a variable, the result won't changes. Suppose if x is equal to zero. Then 0 plus 0 means 0 only. Okay. Uh, suppose if the x is 1, then the result is 1 plus 0 means 1. So x plus 0 means x, that is 0 only. x plus uh, uh, here, if x is 1, then the output is 1 only. Okay. So x plus 0 means x only. So by adding 0 to a variable, the result won't change. So next one is x plus 1. x plus 1 means uh, plus 1. Suppose if x is 0, then what is the output? 0 plus 1 means 1. So that means we are getting this one only. Next, 1 plus 1. So we are getting 1 only. So if we add 1 to a variable, then the result is 1. Okay. Result is 1. So next one is x dot 0. x dot 0. Dot 0. Suppose if x is 0, then 0 dot 0 means 0 only. Suppose if x is 1 then 1 dot 0 means 0 only. So if you perform and operation with 0, then the result is 0. So next one is x dot 1, x dot 1, okay, x dot 1. 0 dot 1 means 0, whereas 1 dot 1 means 1. Here what is 0? This x. Here what is 1? This x. So x dot 1 is equal to x. x dot 1 is equal to x. So these rules are called as identities, identity laws. And the next rule is idempotent law. Idempotent law. So idempotent law means we have to perform R operation on the same variable or and operation on the same variable. So x plus x is equal to if we perform R operation on the same variable, then we will get that variable only. So likewise, if we perform and operation on the same variable, we will get that variable only. Okay. So this rule is called as idempotent law. So next one is uh, complementation law. Complementation law. Complementation law. 
Uh, here also we have two rules. First one is based upon the R operation. Second one is based upon the and operation. In every law, we have two rules. First one is based upon the R. Second one is based upon the and. So, x plus x complement x bar is equal to 1. And the next one is x dot x bar is equal to 0. x plus x bar is equal to 1. x into x bar equal to 0. And the next one is uh, commutative law. So, we use all these rules, all these laws, all these rules for simplifying the Boolean expressions. So, we have to remember all these rules. Commutative law. So, commutative law means, uh, commutative law is like this, x plus y is equal to y plus x. So, here the order is not important. If we perform R operation on x and y, or R operation on y and x, we will get the same result. So, we can check with the help of the truth table. So, what are the possible values? So, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. What is x plus 1? x plus 1 means 0, 3, 1. What is y plus x? y plus x means 0, 3, 1. So, likewise, we can check everyone. So, we, uh, this left hand side must be equals to the right hand side only. If we evaluate with the help of the truth table. Okay. Uh, so, this is called as the commutative tool. So, first one is based upon the R operation. Second one is based upon the and operation. X dot Y is equal to Y dot X. Uh, next one is associative law. Associative law. Here associative law is applied on uh, three variables. We have associative law and the next law as distributive law. Associative law, distributive law. So these two laws will be applied on three variables x, y and z. So, for understanding purpose, for remembering purpose, let us assume that this S stands for same symbols, same symbols. So, x plus y plus z, same symbol. Here the, here the symbol is plus, here also the symbol is plus. So, x plus y plus z is equal to uh, x plus y plus z. So, in this expression, y plus z is evaluated first and then the result is added to x. Uh, here, x plus y is evaluated first and then it should be added to the z. So, if we evaluate this expression, LHS should be equal to the RHS. So, here this is associative law. Why? Because it is applied on three variables. Here, let us assume that S stands for same symbol. S stands for same symbol. S means not the same. So, for remembering purpose, let us assume that it is uh, uh, same. So, next one is in place of S, let us write dot x dot y dot z is equal to x dot y dot z. So, these two laws are called as associative laws. Okay. Next one is distributive law. So, for remembering purpose, let us assume that D stands for different. So, here if, if one symbol is plus, then the other symbol is dot. So, likewise, if one symbol is dot, then the other symbol is plus. Here, these two are different symbols. Plus dot. So, dot plus. So, x plus y dot z uh, is uh, written as x plus y into x plus z. So, x plus y dot z in means x plus y into x plus z. So, likewise, x into y plus z can be written as x dot y plus x dot z. x dot y plus x dot z. Okay. So, uh, these two rules are uh, comes under distributive law. And the uh, next one is absorption law. Absorption law. Absorption law is similar to the distributive law only. But in distributive law, we use just three variables. Whereas in absorption law, we use just only two variables. So, x plus, here we have to take only two variables. x dot y is equal to x. x dot x plus y is equal to x. So, here we have to take only two variables. So, x plus x into y is equal to x, x into x plus y is equal to x. Uh, if we want, we can check whether the result is correct or not with the help of the truth table also. Okay. Uh, so, this is about uh, uh, absorption law and the last, uh, last law is 
डी मो ग्रांसला सो एथ वन इज डी मोर ग्रांसला सो वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ डी मोर ग्रांसला सो फर्स्ट वन इज एक्स प्लस वाई होल बार इज ईक्वल टू एक्स बार इंटू वाई बार एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज इन प्लेस ऑफ प्लस राइट डॉट एक्स डॉट वाई होल बार इज ईक्वल टू एक्स बार डॉट बार मीन्स डॉट बार मीन्स प्लस प्लस वाई बार सो दीज दीज सेवन आर दीज एट आर द बेसिक लॉस आर बेसिक रूल्स ऑफ बुलियन आलजीब्रा वी यूज ऑल दीज लॉस एंड रूल्स वाई सिंप्लीफाइंग द बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन